Hi guys, AE92 guys back with another video. And this video is gonna be about axles. And I got some parts. Uh Honda radiator. We're gonna customize it a little bit to uh be able to fit it. I'm gonna try to weld weld uh new end a little bit thicker. This is gonna be a test. Uh I was told that the black top 4AGE and the silver top overheat with this radiator. So I don't know the 2CZ, so I'm thinking, you know, welding big rents to it, uh, deleting this cap. And th the reason I'm going to delete it is because it's going to be mounted uh, sideways instead. And it's going to be a. Uh, cross flow uh and i'm gonna have this uh expansion tank on one side so i can bleed it properly and get it going uh this is all straight up ebay stuff really good though uh Actually, Moroso uh, copies this tank. These are barbs from uh, Home Depot. Moroso copies that. Uh, just put a sticker over it and sell it to you for like over a hundred bucks. These radiators, I've seen Hondas and you know they're always good. I don't know about the fan, but I like this little. Uh, I forgot the name of this, but uh, fan shroud, but. I don't know. So this is all like 150 bucks off of eBay. The radiator comes with the relay and the sensor. Uh, blue and black is power and ground to the fan. Red is power from the battery. As you can see, it's got a fuse. And uh, this is a signal wire. It's the white wire. And this is... Uh, this goes to the temperature switch and the temperature switch is just going to ground it so you can use the 98 corolla temperature switch because it's a one wire all it does is uh when it heats up to a certain temperature it just uh grounds the circuit <coughs> so yeah that's all with all the parts I bought lately, I haven't been doing much because uh, to the car because it's uh, it's been cold today. It's kind of nice. I've been working a lot. I got two jobs, so you know the car's been put on the side. But I wanted to make this quick video uh, about the axles, which is the 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 hardest part. One of the hardest parts to get for to know about. Like people don't say. What axles you need for the car people that for some reason are keeping that on a secret and I'm not gonna keep any secrets with you you know uh, I got my axle from a 1988 Toyota Camry and it's and of course I'm talking about the driver's side axle which is a short one because the long one which is the passenger the the, the passenger side Passenger side is the long, driver's side is the short. So the long one has a carrier, and you could use the straight up Celica transmission uh, um, axle, Celica GTS. I don't know about the Matrix. I I don't even. I mean, I work on Matrixes. I just don't can't think of them right now. What kind of axles they have? But yeah, this one has a carrier to the block. And then your your CV. So the driver's side is a short one. Is the one that's hard to find. Well, not hard to find. It's just a when you do the research, it's not out there. Uh, like, <clears throat> and yes, yeah, from a 1988 Toyota Camry, four cylinder manual transmission. I heard the SW20 works, and some other platforms with the 
what you call it, a 2.2 2. 2 liter engine. I think it's the 5S FE. Yeah. It's the 5S, yes. Same as the Camry. I, I don't know if the Camry works, but, you know, I was told a uh, SW20 uh, works on that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. 1988 Toyota Camry. And it boats right up. I mean, it's got no play. Everything is working fine so far. I mean, it looks like it fits. And uh, one of my subscribers already tried it. He's been driving his car. I don't know if it's going to be able to hold for my power goals on this car. You know, I'm trying to get the 2cc a little bit higher. Uh, I mean, I'm thinking, I don't know, 240 NA. Something like that. So, you know, just to be able to have some fun. And I mean, you guys are going to be with me on the trial and error build. I mean, because I'm a I'm an automotive technician. I am not a uh, high performance kind of guy. I mean, I I do like modified cars but i you know i have modified a few but you know this one is this one is a little bit different build i'm a little older now and uh i just want something decent not any uh the stuff i did in the past is like rigging up some i don't know what just what to say uh hillbilly crap i don't know yeah this is <laughs> doing some crazy things being young yeah being young i was i was being young with all the other cars I had and this one I'm just trying to keep it for a long time keep it alive at least and keep the 2cc platform and the AE92 you know there's still plenty out there I know this platform might cover you know MR2s and things like that not when it comes to exhaust because it's a little bit different but uh, you know it covers the AE101 which there's still plenty on the street. Uh, you know, things like that is what I want to... The, the people that I'm trying to get to, to subscribe. And uh, also, you know, Corolla XRS, Matrix XRS, Celica GTS. You know, anything that can carry a 2CZ engine in. I'm just trying to draw you guys in and have some fun with our cars. Like, we're the underdog, so... All right, anyhow, it's almost 9 o'clock over here, 9 p.m. See, it's really dark out, and I am trying to relax now. I just wanted to let this video out just to give you a quick update on that I'm still working on it. You know, it's just sometimes the weather doesn't permit it or, you know, parts. It's, it's almost Christmas. Looking forward to the spring springtime just have it turning over and started uh i also i got i almost got the the the, the fuel rigged up but not yet i mean i have all the parts I have the hose i have the barbs uh but i i haven't just put it together i've been just uh Getting gathering parts and things like that, so I get a. Whenever we have a good day, hopefully you know in January or something, start putting things together. And having a uh, fun because I like to work on this car, you know, like it's just fun every time. So, anyhow, with that being said, A92 guys signing out. Please like, comment, subscribe. Nobody's doing this build on YouTube. Nobody's going to tell you what actually your car needs. Just give me a thumbs up. Help a brother out. 1892 guys signing out. Thank you.